What's up guys, today we're gonna to be going over all the different types of straight ankle locks. Let's hit it. All right guys, so uh, the straight ankle lock, there's a million different ways to finish it with the power of your hips. This video is gonna be talking about specifically the different grips I can make to cause either pain or breaking pressure in the ankle. So the traditional one is to have just my wrist very shallow, right? So just this part of my wrist shallow. And then we do all the traditional uh, mechanics of finishing, turning over, bellying down on my head and my shoulders. So the first one is just the wrist, right? All reliable. One of the ones that I use, especially because I'm a bigger dude, is I lift their ankle up and I wrap it as deep as I can Right, so I'm not focusing on the wrist anymore. I'm just figuring out as deep as I can, but it's not low, it's high and as deep as I can. And then I slide myself under and then I can start bending their ankle backwards for breaking pressure. So there's shallow, really deep. There's a bunch of variations where I come off of the foot. So the first one's gonna be, I don't grab the ankle or the middle of the foot. I grab the top of the toes. And for this one, to actually finish it, once I grab the toes, I put my forehead and shoulder down on the mat and then I push because now his legs trapped and then I can just push on the toes themselves to finish. So that's one. Another one is I grab the calf itself and then I place my forearm over the toes, right? So I'm not just here and falling down. I grab the calf and then my forearm goes over the toes. And now I place my forearm on the mat and then I slide my forearm on the mat to finish that one. And then the last one is I hike the, the foot up really high. And then right here, as you can see my shoulders forward, there's a big space between the back of my shoulder and the top of his toes. So this one is I wrap deep and then I open my elbow over the toes and I fall down and then I just extend over the toes themselves. All right, so that one is focusing specifically on bending the foot down. Another couple variations. The very traditional one is the, uh, the same grip I would use on a Kimura if I grabbed the wrist and came over the top. That, that grip, I go over the foot and I grab here. This one is specifically very good when people put the boot on and they curl their toes. I basically push down on his leg and then I roll my shoulder blade, similar motion as the last one. I push down the leg and I roll my shoulder blades over the toes and then I can start hipping in and it extends the top of the leg here. And then we have uh, esteem -a lock finishes. So where usually I've got my legs pinching one of his legs and the outside arm is the one finishing and esteem -a lock is when the forearm comes over and through as deep as I can get it for the first one. And once I have it there, I go to my bicep and then similar motion, I'm crunching down and then in towards his butt to finish. And then another variation of the esteem -a lock is the same way I did this one where I did the Kimura grip and I lean back, I go opposite, but this time my thumb comes up and I shoot it deep. And then as I drag my hand out, got a little crack on that one. <laughs> yeah, as I drag my hand out, so I'm here as if I would grab my forearm, but my thumb is up, so this blade is hurting and, and my, my forearm drags out while I crunch down. Um, and then the last variation that I'm gonna show is how Mikey Musumisi finishes his, where he slides under and instead of traditionally falling towards the outside, his legs move to the outside, but his upper body, so his torso is gonna to turn the opposite direction while his legs turn that way and it has a finishing effect like that, all right? So a lot of variations, watch the video over, try all of them once or twice. There's gonna be better submissions for uh, better scenarios, so uh, I use all of them independently and there's a place and a time for all of them. So try them all out, watch the video a couple times, ask questions in class.